another drawback of 3D games. Especially in something like this where it's going in a circle, is you don't know exactly how hard to turn the corner. Like if you if you turn the corner too harshly, you'll be going into the, the side of the thing and going be going uh, be going slower than you would otherwise be going. But if you just hold left, you'll fall off because you're going left, you're not going round. You know, it's like, like I said earlier, it's, even though it's really hard, it's very fast. So it's done kind of quick. I won't have to deal with too much more of this. Well, I got the thing. could be wrong, but I think there's a very similar level to this in Rayman 3. Like, it, but instead of water, it's lava that's rising, and you go in a circle. There might have been like a like a reference to this part, because they were obviously very proud of how everything smashes, and because it's fun, you know, it, it's obviously something cool that they they enjoyed making and I don't know why I feel that way I mean this whole game feels like something they enjoyed making nope I wonder if I can shoot them in here I can okay but I guess I just keep shooting constantly Oh, damn it, why? Why? Why didn't he grab? What about this wasn't a grabbing moment? Of course he should grab. It's rope. I hate the fact that if you're knocked out of the air and then you jump, you just do the helicopter. So if you time it badly, you'll just slowly fall to your death. Come on! Alright, shoot forward. Jump early. And goddamn sake, hit the. Please let there be a green thing soon. Come on, you can't do this to somebody. It does play out like a, a scene in a movie though, the way that they're putting it all together, like, it's obvious they're trying to make it like, oh my god, it's a real chase scene, and it works. And then there's this bit. Oh, I fucked up. I can't get all the yellow lumps now. Oh, maybe I can? No, I can't. Well, they are going towards me. I guess they're being generous. Look at this, though. Look at that cavern, that chasm, that great expanse, and the music. This is a cool level. I definitely like this one. They put their heart and soul into it.
And even though you chose, like, it's, it's kind of weird though, because you chose this level, you had to choose this level from the level select, whatever it is. Um, but, you know, it's like implied that you're, chase you're being chased through an area. Like, they've been chasing you through the world, the level select. Oh god. At least I can see where the cannonballs are coming from. Yeah. I did it. Me. The Rame. I love this sand. Something about this almost pinky sand is really happy fine. Oh god, is this a boss? It is. Oh, I guess it's not really a boss, it's just a really tough enemy. Got him. What is this big wooden platform anyway? I guess it's like a harbour? Or do they just build lots of big wooden platforms everywhere? Magnificent capital. Access denied. That is always kind of a bummer. Like, how are you supposed to get all of them on your first try? You won't. The top of the world, though. Alright, I'll try this one more level. And then, maybe it'll be time to save and quit. What the fuck is he doing? You know, I kind of like that. I don't really remember why they did that, or whether it was important. Actually, I, I, I'm about to explain why it is important. But what the hell is this? I don't remember this at all. Um, but yeah, it's like, it introduces this new mechanic that's going to be part of this level. And, um... It also gives you a tough enemy to fight right off the bat, but it's not like it just throws you in there. The cutscene introduces you to the fact that you're right next to it. And it gives you a few seconds to realize that now you're playing the game. Oh shit. Oh shit. Whoa! This is fun. I, I, I really don't remember any of this. Maybe it's easy, and then I completed it quick. Certainly interesting, Captain. Well, I love that. You know, it looks like it's gonna hurt, but it doesn't. Have you guys ever been out uh, uh, in a car, and you open the wheel? Okay, one hit death. All right, now I understand. You go out in a car, and the windows open, and you feel the breeze against your face as the car goes by. You're not necessarily driving, I'm just talking about, like, a passenger. And then you close your eyes, and you put your chin, like, on the side, so that your head is still in the car, but you can feel the breeze very strongly. Has anyone ever done that? Because I did that, and it was sort of like exhilarating because I knew I was safe but it because I wasn't looking at anything it didn't feel like it was safe it felt like at any moment I could get my head chopped off intruder 
catch him? I don't know what this is. 